Can I tell you what to do? Get them to the Lord. Baby, you can't do nothing with them. Trust me, I try. You can. That's the reason I'm mostly great now. Because I'm trying to do things on my own. When God says you're going to get tired of what? Y'all yeah. 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 ever started out and it was cold? You started out the morning and it was cold? Yeah. And you put a jacket on? At about 1, 1.30? It got hot. Right. But you didn't have nowhere to put that jacket To me, and that jacket became a burden to you. Come on, talk, because it was allowing heat to come. Even if you tossed it over your arm, your arm was sweating, and it was still. That's the way trials and tribulations are on you when you don't give them to Jesus. Tell your neighbor, give it to the Lord. But sometimes, because we listen to the weatherman. And we listen to the weatherman more than we listen to God. Amen. Come on, come on. We'll listen to that world more than we we'll listen to God. Some of us go out there in the cold, talking about it's going to get warm after a while. But there are hours of being cold and uncomfortable because we refuse to put on the comfort of Jesus Christ. We refuse to wrap ourselves around the Holy Spirit. He's a comfort. So, 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 so also, Christ was offered once for all time as a sacrifice to take away the sins of many people. Somebody say many people. Why does the Bible say many people? Because a lot of people are not going to accept. So the question is, do you want to be a part of the many or do you want to be a part of the few? If you are a part of the many, you understand that your sins, because you have accepted Jesus, your sins have been forgiven. Okay, I understand what you're about to say. If my sins are forgiven, why do I have to ask God to forgive me of my sins? Because God wants us to acknowledge that we are sinners saved by grace. Acknowledge that I'm messing with. How do I acknowledge it? I get into the word and anything that's against his word is sin. <laughs> if I can do what I want to do, Amen by myself. Maybe y'all don't feel like that. If I can live how I want to live. Come on, I got, I got your number now. If I can say what I want to say. Because a lot of folks say what they want to say because they don't have no filter, which is considered the Holy Spirit. I just got to get you told. I just got to get them told. I got to cuss them and give them a piece of my mind. But then you got to understand something. God has told us to kind of us. And like I told the Bible study, why would you want to go down when God has lifted you up? That's why we got to learn to pray for one another. See, that, that, that is, he, he, he died once under the fearful load of human he died with your guilt, my guilt, his father. Now y'all miss that. His father. Father, we be our fathers. We are designed to protect our children, even when they get wrong. Brother Mitchell, you think you protect them now? Baby, you wait till they get wrong. You wait till they start working and somebody makes them mad. And, then you, and he don't have to talk you from talk you down from going to his job and messing up his job. I wish I had a witness in there. Y'all was too holy for me. <laughs> they mess with my children now. I'm going like it's a school. Brother, when, when he messed with Junior at the job, and he, he, he will stop and call and tell me about it. And it takes everything I have not to turn that 
can't jump around and go down. But I got to understand there's nothing I can do. But I stop and pull over to the side and say, Father, I give them to you. The sins, his father put the sins of the world on his son. So he can have a relationship with us. What a relationship we have. Can I take can I break it down? What a friend. We have to get Jesus. And he will bear my sin. Oh, but no sooner did he die than he was justified. See, he had to be the sacrificial lamb. He had to be the Passover lamb for you and for me. I know the Passover lamb, don't you? When he took the blood and put it over the doorpost, and the death angel would pass. Oh, come on, talk to me here. The death angel has passed over us because we're washed in the blood. The unrighteous decision of Pilate and the Jewish Sanhedrin stuck in tradition, Lose, losing their power because everybody was following Jesus. Pilate, who, who wasn't really a Roman, I already told you, but was a Spaniard, that his daddy sold him into slavery. Somebody help me here. But he worked his way up to high ranks, and he was so concerned about keeping his position with the Romans that he lost his position with them. His wife even told him, I had a dream about this man having nothing to do with but how many you know you can wash your hands and still be dirty? Sometimes, we're the hard workers, and sometimes you got to wash them over and over. And if you get the right type of dirt, you get some oil on your hand. You got to get some gojo. You got to get some, some lava. You, you got to get some dark. All of that is wrapped up in the blood of the Lamb. It was immediately reversed in the Supreme Court of the universe. God himself then acknowledged him as son and raised his body from the dead and set him in his right, own right hand in the heavenly realm. Angels and authorities and powers being made and put under his power. If everything else is under his power, why aren't we? Well, that's a deep question, isn't it? Why aren't we? Well, you don't understand. I'm wrong. Baby, let me tell you something. I don't care if you're 198 and a half. You still have a heavenly father. We are the only creatures that God had created that has free will. But he gives us free will because he wants us to choose to serve him. Wish I had a witness here. So choose this day who you're going to serve. If you're going to serve the, girl, the, the gods of this world, then so be it. But somebody ought to make up their mind for not only themselves, but for, them, for their own house. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Even if they stray, thank God the Holy Spirit will bring them. He will come again. Y'all miss that part, though. Because I expected some shouting and some rejoicing. So let me 